What's up, Snarfers? It's me, and I just got back from seeing Deadpool 3. And that unintentionally rhymed. Okay, so uh, if you know me, you know this, but Deadpool 2 is, like, my first, tied for my first mo favorite movie of all time. I've rewatched it probably, like, over 30 times, and I can recite the movie word for word from the beginning. And let me just say Deadpool 3 was entertaining. I went to go see it and I was entertained. It was a decent movie, but in terms of actual substance, it was basically just fan service start to finish. And something kind of made it worse. The moment I went to the movie theater to go see it, I was hanging out with my brothers and some friends and I was like, man, there's only one thing that could make this experience suck. And that's if there was some swat, some, some fat, sweaty, greasy, nerd motherfucker that starts laughing really loudly and obnoxiously at every single joke. That's probably the only thing that could make this experience not epic. And um, that's kind of exactly what happened. There was literally a guy like two rows ahead of us that was just laughing louder than everyone in the theater over every little joke. He was clapping and creaming his pants whenever Electra Blade and What's Her Face came on screen, whenever they were in the whatever zone. And he was just busting in his pants over every little bit of fan service and bullshit. And I'm just like, bruh. There were like a, there were some, a lot of funny scenes in the movie, but I only actually laughed twice. But that's only because I was just not in the mood to laugh because I was getting so much secondhand embarrassment from this, this motherfucker. I was just like, damn. I can't even laugh right now, bruh. Like, I'm just, I'm just too, I'm just cringing so much right now from this fucking guy. And I hear him, like, whispering under his breath, trying to explain who that character is to his friends. And I'm just like, oh my god. But, like, don't, don't, don't think that, like, I'm having a worse view of the movie because of that guy. Because I do think, still think the movie was fine. But it's no masterpiece. Like, first of all, they have a multiverse scene in it. Okay, spoilers, but they have a multiverse scene in it where a bunch of different Deadpools show up from different universes, and Deadpool makes fun of how multiverses and how they're stupid and played out. And then they have a giant fight with all the Deadpools, and I'm just like, dude, you're literally being the thing you're making fun of. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Like, either make fun of the thing or be the thing. You can't make fun of the thing and be the thing. You're literally being the thing you're making fun of. That's so stupid. Another thing is in a lot of parts of the movie, the um, CGI was really shitty. Uh, I'm just going to say some random phrases of things that happened in the movie that out of context, you won't really understand. But if you've seen the movie, you know what I mean. The scene where the guy gets his skin ripped off, shitty CGI. The scene where they're jumping out of the back of the bus, uh, really shitty CGI on Wolverine. Um, the floating head had a really shitty CGI. The part at the end where their heads were shaking around looked really shitty. Also, the part at the beginning where Deadpool was dancing around it literally looked like a Fortnite skin. It looked so shitty. Like, maybe it was just me, but some of those scenes looked pretty low quality. I'm just saying. Like, the environments in the movie looked fine, but another thing that happened, it was just like, it seemed like there wasn't really a lot of breathing room in between any of the scenes. It seemed pretty much like anytime Deadpool and Wolverine were talking, like right at the end of the conversation, just cut them to doing something else. There was no time to let the emotional impact of what they were saying breathe, because don't get me wrong, Deadpool's never really been like a very drama heavy thing, but it's always felt very grounded like, it was making fun of the concept of superheroes at the same time while also being a parody of it. But it's being so fan y in this movie that it almost is not a parody anymore because it's being the thing it's making fun of. And it's not really even a parody. It's just that thing, but worse because it's doing all the things it's making fun of, but it's doing them, like, constantly. Okay, huge spoilers for what the movie's ending is and pretty much a lot of the stuff in the movie. But another thing I really didn't like about it was the whole movie basically didn't need to exist. It probably shouldn't have. This is the worst fan service -y thing that happened in the whole movie is that 
it basically none of the events in the movie mattered. So if you watch the end credit scene of Deadpool 2, he takes Cable's time watch whatever thing and he goes around the multiverse and basically fixes all of his problems. His girlfriend doesn't die at the beginning anymore and none of the team people from X-Force die anymore and they're all one big fappy family or whatever. But um, the, the universe is going to get destroyed because Wolverine died in it and he was like an anchor or something that was holding their reality together because he was basically like that universe's version of a canon event was Wolverine existing and he was supposed to do something but he died before it or whatever and this guy's trying to destroy their universe to just cut it off like that instead of letting it slowly decay over a few thousand years and um that's all fine and good but also Deadpool and his girlfriend broke up for like no reason basically because Deadpool's girlfriend wanted him to get back on the horse even though they were trying to raise a family at the beginning of Deadpool too and she wanted him to she'd like she never really seemed like she had a super strong conviction about him being a crime writer, but whatever. And at the end of the movie, they basically are right back where they started and they got back together because he saved the world or whatever. So basically, the whole movie could have just been replaced if like Hugh Jackman just teleported in there and then they got back together. Same ending, exact same ending. Like nothing that happened really had much significance. It just kind of wrapped itself up like a cartoon ending, like a, with a neat bow on it. Which was like, I kind of hated the ending because I'm just like, well, what was the point of any of that then? You know what I mean? And I hated the fact they made him break up in the first place because they always just seemed really good as a couple. You know what I mean? Like they were, they'd been set up as like super soulmates throughout the whole rest of that, for the, for the whole part of Deadpool 1 and 2 to the point where when Deadpool died, he literally just saw like Vanessa in the afterlife. Like that is some destiny, like true love type shit right there. And then just out of nowhere, they're just broken up for no reason. So yeah, it's whatever. Some, something I did say, something I, I'll say that made this movie really cool was the fight scenes. I mean, if there weren't any fight scenes in this movie, I literally would have hated it. It was one of the only things that was really keeping me in there. The jokes were pretty funny in it and the fight scenes. Like in terms of the actual plot and pretty much anything else going on, it, it didn't really fucking matter. If you like fight scenes that are really sick and you like funny jokes, then you'll like the movie. But if you don't really give a shit about the plot, then you know, that's fine. And that's something of a critique I have with a lot of movies super focused on comedy is they kind of skip out on the writing part. And this movie definitely suffers from that same fate. At the end of Deadpool 2, not only had I been laughing my ass off the whole time, but I'd been like, damn, that was not only like a really fucking funny movie, an action-packed movie, but that was also just like a good movie in general because the ending was good. And I know it was a little corny, but that was kind of part of the charm was that it was corny because, you know, it's a Deadpool movie, you know. It's not meant to be taken super seriously. But this movie's like, it's just... You're not supposed to take it seriously at all. You know what I mean? Like Deadpool 2, you're maybe supposed to take 5% seriously. Deadpool 3 is just like, it's just, it literally shouldn't exist. That's all I have to say about it. I mean, let me know what you thought about it if you think I'm tripping, but low key. I, if I, would I say it's worth a watch? Yeah. If you like, if, if unless you really were emotionally attached to the ending of Deadpool 2, then you'd probably hate it because it basically shits on all over the, basically shits on all over everything that's happened in the first two Deadpool movies. But if you don't really give a shit about that and you just thought the fighting and the la and the jokes were really funny, then you'd probably like the movie a lot. I know that fat, sweaty nerd that was sitting in front of us definitely did. So, to each his own, I guess. Out of 10, though, I'd maybe give the movie like a five or six. Like, I still enjoyed it, but it was it kind of ass low-key. Anyway, that's all I had to say. See ya.